Welcome to the Rochester, New Hampshire History Podcast, a monthly show that will shine a light on a piece of history that has been all but forgotten. For many years, the main burial grounds in East Rochester was the Cold Spring Cemetery. The cemetery is named after a spring of cold water that is situated in its northern corner. It is located on about five acres in East Rochester on Spring Street. Trees and lilac bushes border the cemetery. The Salem Falls River is nearby, and the old Key Baseball Field is situated right next to the cemetery. This cemetery is beautiful and well-maintained. It shows respect and honor to those buried here. There is a bit of history associated with this cemetery. In 1883, the land was purchased from George and Joseph Blaisdell by the leading citizens of East Rochester, who formed the Cold Spring Cemetery Association. Joseph Blaisdell's son, Benjamin, who died November 16, 1864, had already been buried in the land that was to be Cold Spring Cemetery. Benjamin's story is a sad tale. He was born in 1845 in Rochester, and when the Civil War started in 1861, he was working for the Kachiko Woolen Company. Benjamin was determined to fight for his country, and he tried to enlist in Rochester. But being a miner, his father refused to let him serve in the military. In 1864, Benjamin was old enough that he did not need his father's consent to serve in the military. He went to Concord to enlist, but was rejected due to slight deafness. Benjamin did not give up, though. He traveled to Massachusetts. Perhaps he saw this poster for the 19th Massachusetts Infantry because he was successful and mustered in as a private in the 19th Massachusetts Infantry. In May of 1864, he fought in and survived the Battle of Spotsylvania. In a skirmish a day or two after the battle, he was shot in the neck and shoulder with a Confederate musket ball. He initially survived the wound and traveled back to Rochester. Sadly, he never recovered and died from his wounds in November of 1864. In 1884, just 20 years later, the land that Benjamin was buried in was converted to a public cemetery. Also in that same year, the first burials occurred in the cemetery. The Varney Family Monument shows how fragile children's lives were in the 1800s. Back then, children were at risk from dying from diseases that have been currently extinguished or controlled such as smallpox and diphtheria. The Varney family had eight children, and none of the children survived to be an adult. It is fitting that Key Baseball Field is situated right next to the cemetery, since Rochester's greatest baseball player is buried here. George Magoon played baseball in the major leagues between 1898 and 1903. He played for the Brooklyn Bridegrooms, Baltimore Orioles, Cincinnati Reds, and Chicago White Sox. He was known as an excellent defensive shortstop and second baseman. It was said that he had one of the strongest throwing arms in the game, but his poor offensive numbers cut his career short. After his major league career was over, he played in several independent baseball leagues across the country. In his later years, he coached baseball at the University of Maine and University of New Hampshire. Nearby on Crow Hill Road, the Cemetery Association created a new cemetery which is named the new Cold Spring Cemetery. Since this occurred, the cemetery on Spring Street is now known as the Old Cold Spring Cemetery. This ends the podcast. If you have any questions or comments, please email bobgriffinpodcast at gmail.com and come back next month for another episode of Rochester, New Hampshire History.